Hello YouTube, this is Crazy Survivalist back with what I feel is important for keeping your bug out bag as far as electronics. Communications in a real bug out scenario are going to be pretty important. And uh, you can have yourself a real advantage if you if you knew what was going on. So I got two items I bought off of eBay. One of them is a really cheapo Baofeng uh, dual mode 2 meter 440, really wide band uh, transceiver there on the left. I like this little guy, I paid uh, $45 for it. It's got a lithium battery, lasts a really good long time, um, it picks up really wide uh, wide frequencies, I'll get back to that in a minute, but uh, really also my Texan shortwave radio, let me pull that out for you. So this is the Texan PL380, I did a lot of research before I settled on this one, I think I paid about $45 for it, again really wide band, the only drawback to this is it doesn't do uh, single sideband, SSB, but it still covers large amount of spectrum uh, in the little carry case right here it has uh, earphones and a uh, kind of probably better than a 10 foot long wire antenna for it and it works really well I've been testing this thing out programs nicely um, it's got backlight alarm uh, scan function you can punch in frequencies directly it's my first shortwave radio. Like I said, I did a lot of research before I settled on this one. I didn't want to really spend a whole lot of money. I wanted to get the best thing for my buck. Highly recommend it. I've had it for a few weeks now, and I've been able to go out camping with it, and I've used it out in the uh, in the cold. Actually, that's something I wanted to say. It's really interesting about this too. Is it has a uh, it's got a, temp a temperature gauge on it, so you can see exactly how cold it is outside when you're when you're freezing to death in a bug out situation. So that's nice. Information. In a bug out situation is very important. That's why I carry my shortwave radio. That's why I bought that. I keep it folded up in, in, uh, in tin foil and packed away in my bug out bag. But I'm also a ham radio operator and uh, I've been out of it for a while but I'm getting back into it and I was just checking on eBay and there's some really great stuff out there. I bought this Baofeng VHF UHF transceiver. I paid $45 for it. Again, it's one of those Chinese things. But you know, it works. It's a knockoff of a Yezu design. I'm just figuring out how to program it. It puts out 2 watts. And it also covers the FRS and GMRS frequencies as well. And you see I have my squelch set pretty low so it's picking up some stuff. Um, it's got a little 1500 milliamp hour. Let me turn that off. 1500 milliamp hour uh, uh, battery. I'm going to get the AA battery conversion pack for this so that my plan is to get a solar charger for my double A's so that I always have juice. But for $45, this is an awesome deal. This will allow you to communicate with people. It also has a little flashlight built into it right there. Yeah, that's cheesy. Um, but I'm planning on getting a... Um, I'm planning on building a plate on my Alice pack to be able to put a flexible whip antenna on there that I can take on, remove as I as I, whatever I want to do with it. Um, but what's nice about this too is this thing came with the charger. It came with the uh, with the earbud, um, little push to talk button. And it was pretty decent quality. I mean, I'm I'm expecting. I really wasn't expecting much when I got this. I uh, I aimed low with my expectations, and uh, for forty five dollars, man, what else do you expect? Like I said, it puts out two watts. It's got really. Uh, wide frequency coverage and it transmits on everything you can pick up police and fire bands on this thing too and transmit on there if you really wanted to get yourself in trouble worthy addition to anybody's bug out pack it's cheap enough to where you can just buy it wrap it up and in, in tin foil forget about it for a rainy day and uh, it weighs nothing this whole thing with the radio without the antenna is about the size of a deck of cards and it only weighs a couple ounces Really, it's lightweight, like I said, a worthy addition to anybody's bug out pack. You're going to be happy that you got this thing if the worst case scenario were to happen. Definitely recommend it. And of course, you can always get an external antenna for it. That's what I'm planning on doing, like I said, to help boost the range of this little guy. So very, very, very useful in an emergency situation. And that's kind of... There's cats out in my garage fighting. I'm going to go kick their ass real quick. I'll be right back. Well, anyways, guys, enjoy the movie. Um, thanks for watching my video. Again, this is the Baofeng UV3R. This is the Mark II version. It comes in a couple different colors. Black, a couple you know, yellow weird colors. And it also comes in some cheesy camouflage. But I just figured I'd get the black and 
call it good. So, again, thanks for watching my video. See you guys later.